All right, it is 12.16-ish. We are back in order, in session. And we are rolling. Article 13. Shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of $260,000 for the purchase of, per, excuse me, the purpose of purchasing a new fully equipped 10-wheel plow truck for the highway department? The entire $260,000 will be withdrawn from the unreserved fund balance. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, estimated tax impact. Move the article is read. Second. Second. Who's speaking to it? This uh, article will hopefully replace a truck that was not vo voted on last year. As you can see, it's uh, last year was 230,000. It's gone up by 30,000. And also the delivery time on these trucks, where we used to order them right after voting, we'd get them in October or November of the same year. We're looking at probably a year and a half out before we get this vehicle to, into service. Going to recognize the chair of the finance committee. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Uh, the Ware Finance Committee is recommending this article by a vote of six to three. The town needs to replace two plow trucks. It has a 2004 a 2000, and a 2005 rusting Volvo six wheel or plow truck, both of which require high maintenance and have well in excess of 10,000 hours and 135,000 miles. This article will allow replacement of one of the two. The town is still feeling the effects of not purchasing any plows for six consecutive years from 2009 to 2014, and then again in 2021. This 10-wheeler is the replacement vehicle of choice because of its 50% increased load capacity, allowing for more efficient operation of winter plowing, sanding, and year-round gravel hauling. This will allow a catch-up for the vehicle that was needed but not purchased last year. There is su sufficient funding in the unreserved fund balance to purchase this truck. Thank you. Okay, Article 13 is open for discussion. Clarence Gardner again. This might have been addressed earlier, but when you say unreserved fund balance, is that for the town as a whole or for that department? For the town as a whole. Thank you. Kyle Parker, Old Francis Town Road. Um, I have a friend that's in construction and he bought a, a truck and I know halfway through him having it paid for in advance they raised the price on him and told them you know we can sell this for more are we in any danger or can we get locked into to something where there isn't going to be and I know you just said had we bought it two years ago it's already went up 30 30 some odd thousand dollars I just I don't want to be in that same thing it's it's voted on and then you know all of a sudden, and I, I understand that that's not in anybody's control here, that it's going up, but. So if, if I'm going to clarify, what you're asking is uh, you're stating a concern that we could say yes as a legislative body, and then there could be a cost shift difference between the time that we say yes next month. Right, a substantial and we move to, cost And increase. we move to order. And um, I guess I would defer, Benji is looking at me, and so he's going to come and speak to that. Yeah, there's a concern there. Um, we hope that, uh, I think I added three or five percent to, to it in hopes um, that it won't, it won't be more than what we budgeted. He, uh, you know, I got these quotes that I used to drive these numbers from you know, whenever we started this process, October or whatever. Um, so it, it's a concern, I hope not. I think, I think it will be fine. Okay, thank you. Mr. Dickinson. Uh, Brent Dickinson, Dell's Way. I've had two questions I'd like to ask about the truck. Are you replacing a six-wheeler with a ten-wheeler? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, with the plow trucks, they're heavier duty and everything. Moving forward, would you consider glider kits for replacement because the hours and mileage is relatively low, but I don't know if that's conducive for plowing. We actually looked into glider kits um, a few years ago, and 
by the time you buy the glider, which I'm not even sure you can now with the regulations, but by the time you purchase the glider and then upfit it, it was uh, the same money, if not more. You know, the glider kit works all right if you have the donor truck already, but to be my luck, I'd get the truck for was logging in Maine, <laughs> but um, oh, so for any of you that don't know what a glider kit is, I'm sorry. The, uh, it's it's basically a truck that uh, maybe has been wrecked or so, or something and uh, been totaled, and you can put the cabs good, the running gears good, and you get it and kind of make it into what you want, pretty much. I'm sorry, my definition of a glider is a brand new chassis where you take your your engine transmission, you take your drivetrain and put into that new chassis. Yeah, what I guess whatever whatever and you got for good components, the, but when right. you have to buy all that, it's it's no cheaper because you okay. got to purchase it. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. Any other discussion? Frank Campana, uh, I'm really amazed. Can, can you tell me? where this $260,000 came from to go into the general fund. I know it's probably not all one source, but. Okay, so the question is where did 260, how did $260,000 make it into the unreserved fund balance for this year? Well, I don't want to say mysteriously appeared. I'm sure it's been planned on for quite a long time. I can speak to part of it as Naomi is making her way over here, but how many positions within the town remain unfunded or were vacant during that time frame? So four, for some total of how many, how much money in salary and how much money in benefits? So earlier stated, uh, Naomi Bolton, town administrator, um, probably should put it right side up, sorry. I can read upside down too. Uh, there there you go. Okay, there was $444,000 from the salary part, but as mentioned earlier, we did spend some year-end money. And when we did the, um, so after the audited fund balance in 2020, I'm just gonna go take you there, was $2.2 million. We gave you back $600,000 when we set the tax rate in 2021, bringing you down to 1.6. Then after we bought the year-end surplus, we're adding $324,000 to bring this year's unaudited, because the audit starts Monday, balance to 1.9. So you know the 324 is at the end of the year, it's money, and you alluded to it, that we're very conservative when we do the estimates for the revenue. This was actually what all plays out from the unfilled positions, less the year-end expenditures left you $324,000, of which we'd like to spend two hundred and sixty, dollars which still is going to put money back in the unreserved fund balance. So when October rolls around and we set the tax rate, that's when we can decide to put money back to the taxpayers as well. There's still money left from 21. Does that help? Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, it would be hard for me to remember all that. But uh, can I ask the moderator? Can I ask Naomi? Well, ask me and we'll you, figure you, it out. The, uh, the spiral book that you had, you, you were reading from that? Yeah. Okay. It, was it, is that specifically? So the spiral book is something we put together, and all five of them have one. Right. So that we could try to anticipate what you asked for questions based on prior okay. years. Okay. So this is mine, so, but I can share it with you. Sure. No, I, I, I have one, but uh, it's probably not quite in there. So I'd have to find the bits and pieces as you outlined them. Okay. Well, I'd like to comment, uh, with being that Naomi raised uh, year-end tax rate, um, just an example. I, I'm just surprised. I, surpr I have a point of order. Go ahead. Oh. 
she raised the she raised the comment of the tax rate. Okay. Gee, you need to get that specific. Yes. Some days, yes. Wow. Okay. Should be other things. Uh, last year, at the end, uh, last November, uh, when they when they set the tax rate, uh, the board of selectmen. This is a copy of the tax calculation sheet. They were looking at. Uh, they have several options uh, laid out before them. They were looking at a um, $600,000 amount to reduce the tax pay, uh, the tax rate. And uh, one selectman, uh, one selectman thought it should be more. One selectman thought it should be less. Uh, but another another selectman. Uh, Frank, I'm gonna. I have to stop you because okay. I really feel Thank like we're, we're heading into an area that, that isn't necessarily, um, it's a little outside of the warrant. So. Well, it is because to me, it's, it's an indication of how the selectmen spend everybody's tax money. Any other discussion? Uh, thank you, Madam Moderator. Tom Downing, Winterbury Lane. I'm speaking for myself. Um, uh, Benji was kind enough to have um, some of us on the Finance Committee down to the yard, but I'm speaking with my opinion on, based on what I've seen, just for full, full uh, transparency. Um, I looked at the, the equipment, um, the ter deterioration of the equipment, um, and the need for the trucks. It was very, very obvious. What was more obvious is how much um, time and effort Benji and the team spend on building, rebuilding, fixing these trucks, the repairs that I saw. Um, most of us in our right mind wouldn't go to that extent to extend the life of a vehicle. So um, it's very clear that he gets every last bit of what he needs to get out of these vehicles. Um, and we didn't vote for a truck last year, and it's clearly putting them very far behind. If you look at the condition in terms of, like, um, corrosion and rot, you know, some of the vehicles, um, I, they could be, they're borderline safety issues. He's doing what he's doing to correct them, but uh, he's chasing safety issues um, structural safety issues on these vehicles. It should be around regular maintenance, not keeping them together so someone doesn't get hurt and trucks don't fall apart. Thank you. Thank you. Other discussion on more in Article 13? Liz Evans, 84 Oak Hill, speaking on behalf of myself. Um, in addition to not only the uh, current condition of the truck, but my understanding is that, that this truck that was needing to be replaced is completely decommissioned because it got it's set on fire oh okay <laughs> thank you and so my um, statement is looking at the perhaps the liability of if somebody was to get injured a lawsuit to the town would cost way more than two hundred and sixty thousand. thank you thank you other discussion on article 13. all right i don't see any we'll move to the ballot as written All those in favor of restricting reconsideration on Article 13? Okay, looks like it carries. Article 14. Shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of $260,000 to be added to the previously established Highway Truck and Equipment Replacement Capital Reserve Fund for the purpose of purchasing a new fully equipped 10-wheel plow truck for the Highway Department? This is recommended by the Board of Selectmen. The estimated tax impact is 21 cents. Well, the article is read. Okay. I would defer to Benji. <laughs> this is pretty much a, a mirror of, as far as the equipment, it's going to be a mirror of the last article. Um, it, just to explain real quick to, to everyone, when I first started in, uh, in this position in 2016, we were asked to, all us department heads, to you know, put together a, an updated equipment replacement plan, I suppose. And uh, I said from the day one that we needed a new plow truck every year. We have 11 big ones and two little ones, as I like to call them. And a, uh, a truck in this business, 11 years old, is, is old enough. It starts being unreliable at that point. So I have worked on that. Uh, been pretty good last year. It didn't happen, but um, it's going to take a long time to get around to where I'm trading in 11 year old trucks. We got a lot, lot of replacement ahead of us. And I have always said I'm gonna ask for a truck and probably something else somewhere in my public works department. Keep in mind, um, 
I'm over, I oversee transfer station also and, and a couple other small departments, but so I, I try not to ask for more than one truck a year, but I really felt that it was necessary to try to get the truck I didn't get last year along with the two items that I had planned for this year. So that's why you see two large trucks and we decided to try to fund one another way. That was the last article and this one to ask for the full boat from the taxpayer. I apologize for that. I recognize the chair of the finance committee. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Uh, the Ware Finance Committee is recommending this article by a vote of nine to zero. The town needs to replace two plow trucks. Article 13 will replace the first. This Article 14 will replace the second. The relative justification for this purchase is cited in Article 13 above, with the only difference being, the, being between the two, excuse me, uh, being the funding source. Article 13 will be funded by the unreserved fund balance, and Article 14 will raise funds through taxation. Even if both articles are approved and the trucks are purchased, supply chain issues are likely to delay delivery until next year, making it all the more urgent for approval this year. Thank you. Okay. So Article 14 is open for discussion. Kyle Parker, Old Francistown Road. How long of a, I, I'm, I'm imagining that getting this truck is probably going to be a lot longer than the police chief waiting to get his cruiser, I'm guessing, well over a year before you'd probably even be able to get this vehicle. The, the anticipation is the truck's going to be close to a year and the plow equipment's eight months to get it and then it's going to be put together. So that's a good point to bring up that, that if these were both approved, the trucks that they're going to replace are going to plow next winter also. Wait, so you need we, another year out of what you You need another you year out of them. And this winter is only half half over according to that groundhog. So we uh, we got a lot of plowing left in these old trucks. So. Okay, thank you. Other discussion? Okay, seeing none, Article 14 will move to the ballot as written. All those in favor of restricting reconsideration on Article 14, looks like most of you. Okay, Article 15. Shall the town raise and appropriate the sum of $95,000 to be added to the previously established Highway Truck and Equipment Capital Reserve Fund for the purpose of replacing one fully equipped medium duty highway vehicle. This is recommended by the Board of Selectmen with an estimated tax impact of eight cents. Move the articles read. I'll, I'll start on this one. Uh, we have a quote for the truck itself of 68000 and then to put the body and the plows and everything else on it is 67000 which brings up to $135,000. What we are planning on doing is taking 40000 out of the current capital reserve fund to put towards the purchase. That's why we only need 95000 these medium duty trucks are used daily in summer to perform cold patching, brush cutting, sign repair, and are used to pick up and do a part. In the winter, they plow snow. One medium duty truck does parking lots, the other does a route that has a lot of small turnarounds that the big trucks have difficulty performing. With one of these trucks currently out of commission, employees are using personal vehicles for pickup and delivery of parts. And as the lady here alluded to, this is replacing a truck that did catch fire. It has been out of service, I believe, for over a month. And we're still fighting with it, whether or not it's gonna be replaced or not. Repaired, excuse me. But even if it is, I mean, it's, it's 12 years old, it needs to be gone, so. I recognize the chair of the Finance Committee. Uh, thank you, Madam, Mo Madam Moderator. I would just uh, state before I read this, um, um, apologies for the redundancy. We don't coordinate with the, the board on what mm -hmm. they're going to say. Uh, John did a great job doing that. Um, but in terms of there's a statement in here about a total loss, it's based on the assumption we had when we uh, deliberated. So it may or may not be a total loss is what I'm learning. So let me read that. 
Um, the Weir Finance Committee is voting, uh, voted to recommend this article 9 to 0. Approvement, uh, approval of this article will add sufficient funding to give the Highway Department a replacement for the 2009 medium duty vehicle, which was used for lighter and more restrictive road and plow work unsuitable to the larger fleet. The 2009 truck had been slated for replacement this year due to age, condition, and expensive repairs. It has since been taken out of service early due to a, a vehicle fire rendering at a total loss. Approximately $40,000 in the Highway Capital Reserve Fund is being used to offset part of the cost. Thank you. Thank you. So Article 15 is open for discussion. And just want to add to this, too, is, is 2009 doesn't seem like it's that long ago as far as a vehicle. Um, but unfortunately, that particular uh, model and chassis, uh, they no longer manufacture, and they haven't for quite a few years. Um, the di director has come to us um, a few times and said that even if it does get resurrected, I'll call it, um, that parts for this not only are back ordered for a long time, they're not even available. Um, the insurance adjuster looked at this vehicle for obviously for the fire damage and was quoting parts that they found on eBay. All right, these parts are not available. So I just want everybody to know that that's this condition of this vehicle is again, it doesn't seem like it's that old, but it's a model that's no longer supported. Thank you. Any other discussion on Article 15? Marjorie Burke, Merrill Road. I'd like to compliment Benji and his crew for the fabulous job they do of keeping our roads clean and safe. Every plow truck. <laughs> every plow truck in town that goes out to either pre-treat roads, plow, or clean up afterwards goes by my driveway. And all the other time during the year for road maintenance, they go by driveway. I know how hard they work. And um, I know that they need safe equipment, so I support all the articles for the highway department. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Other discussion on Article 15. Frank Campana, uh, I want to be understood clearly. I'm not against the trucks, the vehicles, to be sure. Uh, and apparently there's nobody was before me to speak. So I would like to amend the article. Okay, Frank, if you want to read your amendment and then, or do you have two copies, one to read and one to hand? Oh, my goodness. That was good thinking. Well, I have to thank my better half for that. Getting a no. I was anticipating that. Okay. So not be to be sorry, you work for the selectmen, not for me. Actually, I work for the town, and I work to keep the town out of trouble. The problem with your amendment is that the proposed article on the warrant is to put money into a capital reserve fund. Your amendment is to purchase a truck. And while it may not seem like it, DRA has ruled that those are two separate purposes, because one is putting money into a savings account, albeit here with the designated purpose of buying the truck, and the other is to purchase the truck. So that would be an illegal amendment that would not be permitted. Okay. And that, that's exactly what I was trying to do, is, uh, well. Okay. You have anything further to offer, Mr. Campana? Campana? W will you run that last part by me to put into a capital reserve fund? Sure. So when you are raising and appropriating money into the capital reserve fund, you are technically putting it into a savings account, right? Here, sure. the purpose of doing that is that everyone anticipates we're going to buy the truck, but it wouldn't have to be used for buying this particular truck. Your warrant article is directly to purchase the truck. Now, I appreciate that that seems like it's the same purpose, but DRA has held putting money into a capital reserve fund is a different purpose than buying the article. Okay. Well, then I'll speak to the article. Okay. If you'll let me get it.
My concern is that it's not transparent enough. It does not mention the it does not mention the the uh, total tax impact. And, well, let, let me yield to this person behind me because you're really throwing me a curveball. And then, okay. if I can approach again. Hello, Clarence Gardner. I, I just wanted to uh, the point the, of law you just made. Is that you can't change putting money into account with purchasing something now, as opposed, or does it say you can't put something into the account and restrict it for future use? Both. <laughs> okay. Once it goes into the account, it can be used for any purpose that that account was set up for. So it doesn't have to be for this truck, but it would have to be for a purpose that the reserve fund was set up for. Okay, thank you. So Frank, just give me one second while I make sure no one else wants to speak to it. Anyone else want to speak to this article before I give up? Oh, looks like Chairman Hippler does. So <clears throat> the $40,000, um, Frank likes to mention transparency, and I like to try and be that way. Um, the $40,000 that's in that account already um, came from last year when we appropriated a trash trailer. The, um, no. or is that the wrong fund? Wrong fund. I, I retract my statement. Okay, Frank, I'm ready for you now. Well, I hope I'm ready. <laughs> uh, the article does not explain what, what is the eight cents attributed to, the tax impact of eight cents. What is it attributed to if I read this article? The $95,000 that's being raised by taxation to be put in the fund. Okay. My second point is it does not say, like in articles in the past, all right, and I can use an example from 2020 with a police car, uh, it does not indicate the total cost of the truck, this article. All right? I don't believe. It, it does not say that there's $40,000 coming from the Capital Reserve Fund to offset it. So it's misleading to me. My, my amendment would have been to raise and appropriate the total dollar amount. Are you looking? At, can I not speak to that? I'm not saying you can't speak to that. Oh, well, I saw you roll your eyes. So. No, I was talking to Jack. And then well, I turned that's my eyes just back as to you. Bad. <laughs> Almost. Hang on. Well, I, I was taking notes. So. Well, I guess, I guess I'm a little self-conscious here because I seem to be the only one that's concerned with tax money. I don't so. think that that's an accurate statement, and okay. so I'm going to put that one out there because I don't think you can okay. speak for the entire body. I know you're not speaking for me when you say that, and okay. I'm part of this body. So, All but right. what I understand that you want to make a point here, and I want to encourage you to make that point. So let's have it. So I'll continue. Good enough. All right. Uh, in years past, 2020, for uh, police cars, uh, the article, there were two articles because there were two cars asked for, uh, to appropriate the, uh, the, the sum of the total amount of the police car. And then it broke it down into where the money was coming from. This here, you know, without, without the taxpayers doing the math, it's not laid out in front of them, that the total cost of the truck is $135,000 with $40,000. And the road bond reconstruction money is, article is, is the same format that's going to be coming up. Uh, it raises the total dollar amount, this article, uh, to $135,000, 40000 to come from the capital reserve fund, with a balance of $95,000. And that's, that is the connection. How, where's the 95, where's the eight cents? The eight cents is attributed to $95,000. So to clarify, clarify your point, your concern is that the wording of this Warren article does not reflect the how the entire cost of this particular vehicle is being funded. Correct. Is Thank that you. accurate? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, and I'm uh, going I, to, um, 
Is that a question or a comment? Oh, I guess it's only a comment. Okay. Because, like I say, you know, in an order of transparency, uh, I think someone at a, at a selectman's meeting asked that question. Don't you have to raise the? I, I will ask to you. Don't you? Well, through through to you. To me. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'll ask the moderator. <laughs> This is moderator. Yeah. Uh, doesn't an article have to uh, indicate the total dollar amount raised? Now I'm going to defer that to council. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, it does. But here, the total amount being raised is ninety-five thousand dollars, which is going into the capital reserve fund. Which, in addition to whatever funds are already in there, the selectmen appear to be agents to expend. So, if they were buying it outright, absolutely, they would need to have the complete amount, but because they're putting the money in the reserve fund. Now, certainly we could amend this article to have an explanatory note that the total purchase price of the truck is $135,000 well, if someone wanted to make that amendment. Well, I'm not going to make the amendment because, uh, again, it'll, it'll just give an, uh, an, uh, a veil of not being quite transparent. Other discussion on Article 15? Seeing none, it will appear on the ballot as written. All those in favor of restricting reconsideration on Article 15. Looks like a lot of green. Moving on.